took over to NJR Institute of Technology at Udaipur. We can see you, Udaipur. Over to you. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. First of all, I would like to congratulate the e-outreach team, especially Professor Sana Murthy, the real brain behind this workshop. And the section on plagiarism and paraphrasing was well appreciated by the participants here. And I would also like to congratulate on the basis of like new budget model that has been enrolled by the IIT Bombay team and it is successfully enrolled from this workshop. I would also like to know what are the other workshops that are planned apart from CFD and research methodologies. Over to you. Hello. Uh, I'm uh. R.K. Bayal. <coughs> Uh, as a, on behalf of the, all the participants from the NGR uh, Institute, uh, I feel that the uh, knowledge of from the, uh, it is the need of the present time that the research activities and quality of the research need to improve in the India and IITs on behalf of IITs, they are having the good resources on the research. So conduct the more research uh, workshop oriented particularly like maybe the electronics or computer subject wise workshop to improve the research activities also should be conducted. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for this idea. Uh, indeed, if we conduct uh, sort of a subject specific uh, workshop, uh, which would perhaps uh, combine some research concepts as well as some publication related concepts that could be useful, let's think about it. About the question on what other workshops we are planning to do. There are a whole lot of plans. Unfortunately, as you know, technically, when the financial year ends this year on 31st March, uh, the project also ends. We have requested for permission to continue this project, and we have been told that there will be a provision in the next financial year and next financial years to continue this effort. Uh, but before, uh, somewhere around April or May, we will come up with a year-long program of the kind of workshop that we are planning. We will put it up on a general site, which will be the e-outreach site currently. And all of you would know what uh, you would be able to expect uh, in the coming months. And thank you for your encouraging response. Uh, PVG COET Pune. We'll go over to PVG COET Pune. Yes, over to you. Good afternoon. We are very much thankful for this workshop. We understood very well how to plan and organize the conference papers. During the practical session, it was felt that uh, the time provided for the analysis of the assignments was very less. Had it been uploaded earlier on the Moodle, it would have been more beneficial for us. What is this analysis? Over to you. We'll certainly keep this in mind. Sorry, there is one more, there is one more uh, observation being made. I am sorry for interrupting. Over to you again. I am basically an amateur research scholar and uh, being that I found this workshop to be an extremely beneficial one. I believe that writing research papers is the most essential part of any successful research work because uh, all is well that ends well in the end. So. Uh, it was uh, very lucidly conveyed by the instructors, whatever uh, the research work uh, and the, how the conference papers have to be written. But um, I just wanted to say that it would have been good had it been for a longer duration. Mm. I think two days was a very short time to convey everything. Over to you. Uh, thank you so much. If you see me smiling, it is because the original offer by Professor Sahanamurthy was to conduct a half day workshop. And uh, the moment uh, I heard what she wanted to cover, I realized that both the idea was important and the coverage will have to be much more extended. And it was at my request that she agreed to extend it. I am glad that you found this useful. The fact that you feel that the duration could have been extended more uh, I would say that generally one can say this about any good course or program. We would like it to be extended because amount of learning that has to happen in any field, including the field of writing technical papers, is practically infinite. We can go on perpetually doing that. But I appreciate what you said. I would like to point out here, or maybe I will make 
some of the observations related to this suggestion for enhanced time for the workshop in my concluding remarks. Uh, but good point you make. Thank you so much. Uh, R.C. Patel uh, Institute at uh, Sherpur. On behalf of the R.C. Patel Institute of Technology and all the participants, we are really thankful for uh, of the Eklave team, including especially Sahana Murthy Madam, uh, who provide us the guidelines uh, on the effective conference paper, how to write, and uh, looking forward for such uh, workshops, including the latex, latex workshops, especially. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Over to you. Uh, thank you so much. The demand for LaTeX workshop is indeed uh, very encouraging. I will request, uh, uh, did uh, Professor Kannan speak about the spoken tutorial on LaTeX? Yeah. He mentioned it. He mentioned it, but we will provide uh, for more details. Uh, rest assured, we will definitely take further steps uh, related to LaTeX uh, very shortly. So there is a college, Raj Lakshmi Engineering College, Chennai. I am going over to that institution. Good afternoon. First of all, thank you very much for permitting Rajalakshmi Engineering College to host this workshop. We would like to thank on the behalf of all the participants to all the professors who shared their valuable experiences, especially Professor Sahana Murthy. This workshop has been very useful to all the participants, especially for young faculty who have just started pursuing their PhD and students. From our side, we would like to request to give priority to areas such as computational fluid mechanics, where we will be very happy to get benefited by the experience of IIT Bombay. And the workshop has been thoroughly interesting as it has been interactive in nature. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I think I get the point that uh, all of you would like to have uh, subject-specific discussions of this kind of work. We'll definitely keep that in mind. Thank you very much for your comments. Yes, we can see our friend from Islampur. Over to you. Good afternoon to all. I heard many complaints from different centers regarding audio and video, but here in Rajarambapur Institute of Technology, the infrastructure as well as the audio and video equipments which they provided, that was simply amazing and excellent. So no complaint about that from your side also. The workshop was excellent and fruitful to all of us. The session conducted on presenting skills by Mr. Sunoj and also the presentation given from the paper, how to arrange the paper by Sahana Murthy was simply amazing. Sir, one request from our side, if you provide the journal names and their addresses in detail, it will be helpful to all of us so that how to approach to them as well as how to pre present the paper and when to present the paper, we all participants will get idea regarding that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry. Sorry. There is one more comment. Yeah, please go ahead, sir. The contents and presentation that you have discussed are very good. And this workshop is really helpful to the participants who are starting their research as well as they are writing papers to improve their quality. Uh, there are two suggestions from my side. First, a small discussion on the difference between how to write abstract and how to write conclusion is required from my side. And second is, uh, it is beyond the scope of the workshop, but still if you give some details, how to select a conference for our publication, it will be more beneficial for us. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I am sorry for responding late. I was just noting down both the suggestions that you made. Both are important and we will certainly comment on this and, and keep that in mind. Uh, Prasanna Murthy is taking down a whole lot of uh, no, uh, points. So, she will perhaps uh, respond at the end. Uh, let me go over to the next institution which is uh, uh, Sat, uh, Shastra University, Tanjavur. Sir, on behalf of 160 participants from Shastra University, we thank the organizers of such a nice workshop. We are highly informed with Shahana Murthy and Kannan Madhugule and Sanosar session. This is really an eye-opening session. 
and moreover we are looking for more clarity while having the interaction session hats up to iit another thing is sir we want to need regarding the latex software so we will unable to know the several things in that uh, particular software so it will be very very helpful for us thank you i am shankar narayan from the chat room of shastra university tanjore tamil nadu i am quite aware that running such a workshop for imparting the best for the participants of the workshop is not an easy joke yet by taking stock of the two days conduct with regard to the workshop you have organized that is iit has organized on the heading writing effective conference papers i could very well notice on both sides both positive as well negative inferences out of which as a positive thing i can very well quote that iit has taken earnest efforts in enacting the overall conduct of the two days workshop in a very splendid way yet out of the available intricacies and limitations to make the entire workshop to be a fruitful and successful one iit has faced with its own deformities to make it an entire splendid task out of various factors in which i can very well include one or two and the software mechanism which are used a view cannot cater to all needs in which you had your vision i mean it cannot cope up with the video chatting as well audio rendering i think that either this av has to be improved further or something else used to replace this av to make it entirely a fruitful task to make the entire remote session a, 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 a better one when compared to the two days conduct and uh, i am quite aware that iitb has organized this two days workshop as a maiden attempt and i am quite aware that mhrd uh, out of his uh, nmaict project has funded for organizing this two days workshop yet we even with the maiden attempt iitb has taken wonderful efforts and it has drafted a very wonderful plan to make the entire contact a very fruitful and successful one so with that i just conclude uh, as a final thing on uh, on the whole and on the average i can very well take it the entire contact was a successful one to some extent though not i can say it's too splendid but it is somewhat better for the entire set of participants who took part in the two days workshop thank you one and all thank you so much your for your observations uh, very candid uh, but let me very quickly respond to two points first of all this is not a maiden workshop we have conducted seven such workshops in the past and uh, second about the quality of audio and video interaction you mentioned for example video chat being not available etc uh, you would be aware of the fact that while many such features Uh, could be possible if the number of participants participating in any video conferencing mechanism is limited when you have 35 remote centers with thousands of people participating we need a mechanism which can simulate roughly a classroom environment which is what is being attempted here about the aview software please note that it is not a commercial system the entire aview software has been developed from scratch in india by our partner institution amruta university precisely for deployment on such occasions please note that it is freely available for use by all educational institutions in the country it is not yet open source we are trying to release some portions of it in open source but because it has the development itself has been funded by the government it is available and accessible it works on internet uh, please believe me when i say this i started the distance education in uh, interactive mode here in india in the year 2000 when we used to use the vsat bandwidth today we are able to use internet bandwidth you cannot compare the facilities of avu with uh, interactive tools such as webex or skype they are meant for a different purpose but let me tell you that amongst all the software available for classroom simulation av is certainly one of the better ones available today however your point is well taken 
we should have a much greater interactive experience on both audio and video today what we have is what i would call an adequate experience not really the best rest assured that amruta and iit bombay will continue to work on a view and as the years pass you will find better and better features as well as greater clarity and and a greater quality of audio thank you very much for your observations we'll go over to sjs its indore good afternoon sir on behalf of everyone here i thank iit bombay for conducting such an useful workshop uh, this all the sessions of this workshop were really very beneficial for writing or developing skills for writing effective research papers there is a humble request from my side that there should be workshop organized on some specific research areas like algorithmic research papers or uh, survey oriented research paper and also some mathematical oriented research paper thank you sir one more participant good afternoon sir and ma'am uh, i am sarika tiwari and i extend uh, our gratitude to iit bombay for organizing such informative and beneficial workshop for us uh, it had covered almost all the aspects of writing a, an effective research paper and um, uh, it has been uh, particularly beneficial for us as teachers because for me particularly because i am a teacher of uh, technical english so i think that uh, i have surely learned so many things which i can impart even to my students and sir uh, at the cost of repetition we also request you to incorporate more examples like we did today while explaining so that we can get some more idea regarding that and uh, we look forward to some more workshops like this in future thank you so much thank you for your comments well indeed keep in mind the desire uh, thank you so much uh, we'll keep in mind your desire to have more examples and uh, workshops on different uh, research topics although that appears very difficult for iit bombay alone to conduct but i'll comment on it in my concluding remarks shortly uh, let's go over to the next institute we'll go over to srm kanchipuram good afternoon sir uh, we are thankful to you to our um, for organizing such a wonderful workshop uh, over the past two days uh, i have a small uh, uh, query um why why not arrange uh, uh, guest lectures uh, uh, technical uh, guest lectures uh, organized by experts uh, from uh, various departments in iit bombay or uh, uh, over uh, all the other remote centers uh, who have experts in certain fields and uh, display their uh, lecture slides uh, as video uh, in uh, the forthcoming workshops that would be nice because uh, most of the faculty have uh, uh, somewhat you uh, know um, um, uh, re require more uh, more and more exposure to uh, uh, working on uh, certain key concepts uh, in their uh, uh, various areas i know that uh, you have uh, various uh, experts in your uh, in fields uh, in various departments uh, in your uh, university uh it would be great if you can arrange for some lecture lessons um, in your uh, forthcoming workshops uh, that's what we have over to you uh thank you so much uh, this reminds me of uh, a an activity that we used to conduct in the earlier avatar of this project uh, which is funded by tifact we used to call it a, a nutshell lecture series so any time an expert lecture would happen in iit and if we had enough warning we would circulate that notice to all the remote centers and all the previous participants of our effort if they wanted they could come to that remote center and attend that lecture uh, perhaps we could start something like that once again and uh, the need of course would be to have more and more remote centers uh, we are also planning by the way to do a simultaneous webcast of all our future conferences so that some people who cannot physically attend and are not interested in certification or let's say there are special lectures being arranged which they would just like to attend it should be possible for them to attend it from any cyber cafe or their own institute or their own home wherever they have internet connectivity through the webcast so the simultaneous webcast mechanism uh, we shall be definitely ensuring 
and thanks for the suggestion for arranging uh, special lectures. We will definitely keep that in mind. We now go over to St. Joseph College, Kerala. Yes, we can see our friends from Kerala. Over to you. A very good afternoon, sir. I would like to tell you that we, the participants over here at St. Joseph College of Engineering, Kottayam, are very grateful towards you for organizing such a very wonderful event. And I believe that after attending this workshop, all of us will be able to write a very good and effective conference paper and also present it very effectively. Now we have an idea why our papers are getting rejected, which was a very useful piece of information. And we are very thankful towards you for that. And I also take this opportunity to wish all the participants ac across the country all the very best for their uh, conference papers. Thank you and over to you, sir. Thank you very much. We will now go over to SVU College, Tirupati. Good afternoon, Professor. So I am Dr. DBV Jagannatham. On behalf of Chadalabad Ramanam Engineering College, Tirupati, I presented here. First of all, I thank to the organizers, IIT Mumbai and uh, SU University coordinator for giving me an opportunity to participate in such a nice workshop. My session is, so before writing the paper, how to conduct the literature survey. So if you are conducting one more program on literature survey, I hope workshop, the workshop may be more beneficial for all the participants. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you once again. Over to you. One more participant is there, ready to talk to you, sir. Please. This is I, Sunita, from Annamachara Institute of Technology and Sciences, Tirupati. First of all, I want to congratulate you, sir, for successful completion of today workshop. And yesterday, that uh, we are very impressed about uh, PPT presentation, that is stage management skills by Sunod, sir, what to do and what not to do on the stage. And also, especially in the yesterday afternoon section, we have enjoyed a lot and we are involved in a lot. To, this is to Sahana Muthi, madam. And I one request from my side to you, madam. You have given one, two papers, paper A and paper B. If it is related to our individual discipline, then we will effectively fill that workshop, madam. So, if at all, if you give any examples in the next future workshop, and I want you to collect the related good and bad papers, to fill the worksheet, madam, because you are given on learning objectives. Thank you, madam. Over to you, madam. One more thing. Being a woman, I am very proud of you, madam. Thank you, madam. Yeah. Thank you so much uh, uh, for your comments. Uh, uh, literature survey, indeed, is an important aspect. Uh, actually, more than how the literature survey is to be presented in a technical paper, I would be concerned about the way in which the literature survey is conducted by people. That itself has a whole lot of shortcomings, uh, but this is not the place to comment on it. I uh, will keep that in mind. Thank you so much for your observations. Uh, we'll go over to Truba College Indore now. I can see our friends from Truba. Over to you. First of all, I would like to thank you. Uh and uh, MHRD, IIT Bombay, and Aklevi team for such a great initiative. Uh, all the sections, okay, sir. all the sessions were very fruitful for the students as well as for all the faculty participants. And I'm having a query that uh, some of our expert faculty members have some technical topics on which they would like to be uh, a spe expert speaker and be the part of this workshop in future. So, how can we work out in that particular area, sir? Thank you very much. This uh, suggestion has come in a sort of different flavors from others as well, namely the need for addressing specific technical topics and uh, to have technical experts speak on those topics, not necessarily only in the context of writing papers on those uh, topics, but also in the general context of expertise in those areas. We'll definitely keep that in mind and we'll come up with some suggestions shortly. Uh, thank you for your observation. We'll go over to VIT Pune now. Yes. Once again, I'm very thankful to our VIT Bombay for arranging such a motivational workshop. Uh, and here I want to give one suggestion is that in next month there is a one workshop based on the CFD and uh, it is for the coordinate, coordinators. So I want to just request you to just uh, give to allow the PG students to enroll for this workshop. Thank you. I just want to over. Hello. 
Good afternoon. I am Professor Fakatkar, Vishwakarma Institute of Technology. On behalf of VIT and all other participants, I am very much thankful for organizing this wonderful uh, workshop. Actually, this is a very structured workshop. All sessions were informative, and we have learned a lot of things related to the writing effective conference papers, particularly paraphrasing, the writing skills, and the organization and the structure of the paper. However, I like to mention one suggestion. Uh, basically, particularly in session seven, which was conducted pre-lunch session, actually, if you t conduct a, a particular case study which is applicable to all uh, remote centers, a common case study which is a very general case study, and you can dialogue through that case study to write a paper from the case study concept of idea to writing a paper. It will be helpful to us. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Basically, what you are suggesting, Professor, is apart from analysis, uh, some example of synthesis or e evolution of synthesis jointly with all participants. It's a very good idea. Let's see if we can uh, work out on something like that. Thanks for your observations. And uh, about the suggestion to make the CFD workshop accessible to PG students from the different participating institutions, I will discuss this with our own uh, workshop faculty and with other colleagues and we'll try to take a view that like we permitted students to attend this workshop, whether we could do that uh, also for the CFD workshop to be conducted in summer, maybe that could be useful. Welcome. There is some more observation that is coming. Uh, over to you again. Sir, uh, one, more, one more observation. Yes, sir. Thank you. Actually, this is a very general observation. Uh, as I heard, there is a there was a heat transfer workshop conducted few few days back in VIT for two weeks for teachers, and it was well taken by our faculty. I am requesting you to conduct such type of workshop for design engineering faculty. That will be also very useful to us. Thank you very much. Over to you. Thank you so much, Professor. As you are correctly emphasizing uh, additional topics. Uh, from the area of your own work. Uh, permit me to say this, that practically all teachers across the country in various disciplines, whether it is electronics or aerospace or civil, would also like various topics, both basic and uh, advanced topics to be covered like this. It is indeed our intention, and I will make some comments on how we believe this task can be taken forward to further scale it up in my concluding remarks. But thanks for your observations. We'll certainly keep those in mind. We'll all look at the chat and I'll make an announcement to the observations that you make on the chat. Uh, I had missed VIT Vellore. I will now go over to VIT Vellore. Yes, I can see our friends from Vellore. Over to you. Sir, we are extremely happy to be part of uh, IIT Bombay's workshop. And it was successfully been conducted in our university for the third time and we have one suggestion sir sir in this workshop uh, some of the slides have not been uploaded before the workshop so it was very difficult for the participants to listen to the lecture continuously so please try to upload those uh, lectures before the workshop starts that will be very much useful for us very good point that you made we'll ensure that in future We'll always upload these slides ahead of time. And uh, Prasanna Muthi just told me that she will ensure that whatever slides are not yet uploaded, they will be uploaded very soon. Thank you so much for the observation. We'll go over to Walton College, Sangli. Uh, I'm Dr. B.A. Momin, workshop coordinator. On behalf of the participant, I would like to thank you, sir, for organizing this workshop. Sir, I want to add you. Uh, can you make this uh, uh, this uh, title as one of the course for the uh, student at PG and uh, doctoral level as audit course? Because you see, it is an essential uh, what you can say the study required for any research to go for the publication. Over to you. Thank you so much for your observation. Actually, I was not aware of the fact that uh, some institutions may not have a course at the postgraduate level. It is interesting to note that in IIT Bombay, for quite some time, there is a compulsory course on communication skills to all postgraduate students and research scholars. 
further it used to be a pass fail course which would run throughout the year now it has been converted into a credit course that course is a generic course on communication skills but there are specific topics under that course which cover aspects of technical paper writing the way this course is run because i thought this will be useful for as a information to all participating institutions and in fact all teachers they can perhaps go back and try to implement this in their own institutions so the the way the course is run is current in the current format it has one lecture hour per week and two hours of tutorial come lab session per week the lectures are conducted by a humanities department expert and sometimes uh, the humanities department would also invite external experts including experts from within iit to conduct lectures on specific topics throughout the semester simultaneously for each lecture that is conducted a two hour practical is conducted by different faculty members in different departments for example next year i will be the departmental coordinator for computer science and engineering students we have about 100 mtech students and about 20 25 research scholars who join us every year so what i will be doing during the lab hours throughout the semester every week would be taking aspects of computer science related topics and enhance and empower the students to imbibe whatever is taught in the lectures by humanities department in terms of their own ability to communicate well both verbally and in written form uh, for their top similarly there will be a colleague from mechanical engineering department who would be the lab coordinator for that course from mechanical engineering department and so on so this is actually a compulsory course and in fact even earlier when the course was a pass fail course if some people failed in that course in a semester they were required to clear it in the next semester before proceeding with their me projects and so on uh, i i i hope sincerely that all institutions in the country insist on at least one such course a mandatory course at all postgraduate level if some institutions do not have such a course i would suggest that from you, you may even consider iit course as a model but quite independently you should evolve a course because our postgraduate students and research scholars definitely need a large amount of useful inputs so that they can improve their verbal and written communication uh, sorry for a longer response but i believe this is a, a very important point that you made and if you do not have a course you should actually create a course as early as possible I am really very really thankful to all IIT Bombay team for arranging such a useful and extremely good workshop and I request you to arrange a um, workshop regarding software handling for uh, postgraduate students in future thank you sir thank you very much thank you for that comment let me go over to the last institute in my list YC college nagpur good afternoon uh, myself dr sumant kadwane from the central india uh sir i want to say that uh, one sanskrit quote at the moment mahajanasya sansarga kasya nonnati karaka who is not benefited from the company of great peoples and definitely we are very much beneficial from your writing of effective communication papers and uh, we look forward for such workshops uh, and thank you for Uh, giving us this opportunity to work with you the response from our participants is very much overwhelming i would like to share this responses through our participant akshay deshmukh thank you gadwan sir uh, good afternoon uh, uh, sir pathak sir and sahana ma'am uh, specially i would like to say that the uh, uh, sessions of the sahana ma'am were uh, very beneficial as far as writing the conference paper is concerned i would like to uh, give one suggestion that uh, for another 15 days rather the modal id is going to be activated so whatever papers uh, we have uploaded on the modal uh, portal we would like that uh, the team from the iit bombay uh, will give their uh, comments as well as uh, their feedbacks uh, as far as the effective conference papers uh, criteria are concerned and we would like that uh, those uh, papers we uh, should be reviewed and another thing i would like to say is that whatever uh, 
conferences or workshops that will be organized under the banner of IST, the at least the presentations of those workshops uh, should be made available on the modal ID so that even though we cannot uh, attend that particular workshop at maybe any remote center, but we would be able to access that material. I once uh, again thanks the team of IIT Bombay for conducting such an excellent workshop. Thanks a lot. Uh, first of all, I am uh, uh, very good afternoon, sir. Uh, my name is Jayan Kevute. I would like to thanks to IIT Bombay. They give very good uh, suggestion and tips for making conference paper. Sir, uh, I have one suggestion, uh, one not suggestion, it is the request. Sir, uh, because of the sound problem and uh, some uh, interrupt, we can, uh, the um, participants ask the question to you. These are unable to uh, hear us. That's why, ma'am, uh, we can't hear. And uh, uh, for this purpose, uh, uh, you mail, uh, uh, through the mail, you send this uh, question with answer. You uh, send to uh, all con conference, uh, those uh, part of this uh, conference uh, paper. That's it. Uh, thank you so much for uh, all the suggestions. Uh, you are very right. The Moodle is to be kept open for two weeks for specific interaction now. However, the observation that you made about contents being made available even later, of course the contents would be made available. Even currently they are available on a different uh, page of the website. I will request my uh, web team to communicate to them uh, where those contents are available. But please understand that there has to be a whole lot of editing that has to happen of both the audio visual contents as well as text contents. We have yet to set up the larger server infrastructure and to set up and release our portal. The moment we release our portal, not only for this workshop, but all the past workshops, the complete audio video recording of the lectures, all the material on the Moodle, all the lab exercises, answers, question bank, etc. All of them will be made available. As I said earlier, our ambition is to keep all of this in open source so that more people can use it. We'll definitely keep that in mind. Uh, as regards sound problem, our idea would be to try and remove this problem itself if possible. And uh, second, uh, once the interactive sessions, including all lecture videos are available, if even if you cannot hear the answer to your question during, let us say, some hiccup that happens to the audio system, rest assured that that answer is getting recorded here. And that recorded portion will be put up on the uh, on the website as a recorded audio video. So you will be able to listen to it. Of course, there is no substitute for getting an immediate answer to a query that you raise now. And to that extent, we would like to ensure that there are uh, there should not be any hitches in in sound and video. We'll try and ensure that. Okay. Thank you so much. There are there are so many. Uh, raised hands here now. We can see our friends from Baramati. Over to you. I'm Professor Nirman Sahuji from Vidya Pratishthan College of Engineering, Baramati. Sir, first of all, I think it is first of its kind workshop which gives insight about how to write the research papers. So I am very much thankful to you for conducting such workshop. However, I have one suggestion, sir. Time slot for practical it requires a little bit more. Over to you. Thank you so much for the important observation. Uh, practical sessions or tutorial sessions are indeed important. And in, in fact, in all of our future workshops, we would be suggesting, as it was in specific case of uh, technical subjects for which we conducted workshops in the past, we had fairly heavy practical lab and tutorial sessions earlier. We will continue like that. Uh, is there one more observation that somebody would like to make? Uh, over to you. Hello, sir. For distance education, my idea is that there should be a simultaneous lectures on the same topic by many lecturers so that student can select a teacher of his choice. Over to you, sir. It's an interesting idea. My own worry is that there may be more confusion and uh, shifting from one teacher to another 
uh, resulting in perhaps a little bit of a chaotic situation. But thanks for the suggestion. We'll definitely look at possibilities of extending both the scope and coverage of uh, all the workshops that we conduct through uh, distance mode. Uh, although there are some more raised hands, I'm sorry uh, to disappoint our friends uh, who have raised their hands, uh, but uh, we will we will not be uh, going over again because we already overshot the limit. I understand that there are participants who do not live in the place where they are attending the workshop and they would be keen to go back to their own places. Uh, I will not take much time now. In fact, I, I wanted to share a whole lot of things in my concluding remarks. I will uh, constrain myself from doing that. Instead, what I promise is, I will record a 15 minute video in which I will ask my team to upload on the Moodle so that you will be able to listen to that 15 minute video and contemplate uh, on, on whatever points that I make. I will only like to take this opportunity to thank all of you. We have noted all your suggestions and believe me, we will act on those suggestions. There will be many more suggestions which would be occurring to you once you go back to your own place and think about what has happened. Do not hesitate to put forward those comments, observations and suggestions on the Moodle. As I said, we'll be keeping the Moodle active uh, for uh, two more weeks. Uh, so as I said, I will put my comments uh, in the form of a video recording on the Moodle. Uh, please permit me about a week's time uh, or maybe four days because I have to travel to Delhi and Chennai over the next three days. Uh, by Thursday, I will be putting up uh, that 15 minute video. Uh, so I will take this opportunity to thank all the participants. Uh, let me once again iterate that amongst all the eight workshops that we have conducted so far, this workshop has had the maximum enrollment and also the maximum attendance. So I compliment all the participants. I specifically thank all the remote center coordinators and the workshop coordinators and their team. Without their help, uh, this workshop would not have succeeded. And of course, I must thank all my colleagues in IIT Bombay itself. I would like to conclude by handing over a, a small bouquet as a token of appreciation to the workshop coordinator from our side, Mr. Sahana Murthy, for doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you so much. So thank you so much. We'll meet again uh, in the subsequent workshops in this series. In the meanwhile, please feel free to write to us, not just about this workshop, but any general observation, comment, and suggestion that you would like to make, uh, make. Because our ambition is all of us together should take the quality of engineering education to greater heights in this country. Thank you so much. Over and out.